What is love? To many people, love can mean a variety of different things. According to Oxford Dictionary, love is an intense feeling of deep affection. But how is love shown between different cultures? Specifically, first generation Asian Americans. Growing up in an Asian household, being a first generation American definitely had its struggles as I was not shown love in the traditional way because my mom grew up in Taiwan and my dad grew up in Malaysia. So I would say we definitely have a unique way of showing love. Most first generation Asian Americans have a unique way of showing love within their family due to the differences in culture from the US and their home country. This could be due to their parents having to work harder than most American born parents in order to survive. So our parents show us love in a less traditional way. They don't really do like hugs, I love yous, you know. We don't text each other all day. We, it's not really like a, a physical thing for us. It's more of like making sure we have what we need. It was never the traditional American way because it was never I love you or it was never like the physical stuff like hugs and stuff like that. It was more so like eat more or it was here's a bowl of fruit after dinner. It was basically making sure I was fed. When it comes to many Asian parents not telling their kids I love you or not showing their kids that they love them the way other cultures might, it seems to be because they don't actually know how to show affection. One reason this might be is that their parents didn't show them affection when they were growing up. Or maybe they didn't want to show an affectionate side of themselves to their kids. In like my childhood head, I would say that I didn't feel loved because seeing all these other families and like these other parents show their kids love a certain way like my friends going over to my friend's house and their parents always being home and cooking dinner for them and you know taking them places and you know do it like pta moms like my parents weren't ever really there for that because they always had to work so but looking back now i know like my parents did all these things for me you know for me and my brother to you know, have the life that we have, to have a roof over our heads, to have food on our table. So looking back, yes, but as a child, I did not feel loved. I felt neglected. When I was younger, I never felt love. And that is due to the cause that my parents had to work a lot. One moment that I can think of really off the top of my head that I didn't feel like my parents really loved me or cared about me was um, I had an awards night and my parents couldn't make it and I was really upset because I worked really hard, you know, like in school, I got A's like typical Asian should, <laughs> um, but my parents couldn't make the awards ceremony because um, they had to work. So I felt like they didn't care about me, they didn't love me enough to come, you know, show me that they were there for me. This moment is always going to haunt me because this was the first time in my life where I have truly felt unwanted, unloved by my own family. So during senior week for football, I saw all of my teammates and all of their parents doing all these big things for my teammates while I had to sit there and just think about all my parents are even going to show up to my senior night because senior year is supposed to be the best time of your life and for me that was a moment in my life why i had to sit there and just think like am i even loved by my own family in most asian cultures mental health is not talked about thus making asian parents not understand the potential harmful effects that could be inflicted upon their children by not showing them affection the majority of asians that come to the u.s come from big families Due to being in larger families, it can be harder for parents to distribute their love emotionally to all of their children. Therefore, their parents only show them love by giving them basic necessities such as food and money. I plan on loving, you know, future generations in a different way, um, just because I can see the effect that it has. When it comes to the passing of the cycle of love to the next generation, I definitely plan on changing the way we show love. But I would also want to bring the good that we had as I don't want to go too far away from my roots. As my mom being from Taiwan and my dad being Malaysia, that's what makes us us. Their story and their background, the way they were raised is the reason why I am me. So I would say I would want to definitely change it, but bring the good.